was a commission from the National Portrait Gallery in Canberra in 2008. It was filmed at the Sydney Theatre Company, so this was a sort of beautiful old workshop with flats around the walls, and um, so it sort of references the construction of the theatre sets. As the work was a, a, a portrait, and because a lot of the work that I do I sort of see as portraiture or as video portraits. What I'm trying to do in a way um, goes against the sort of traditional conventions of portraiture of, of trying to depict or represent the sort of essence of somebody. That's not really what I was trying to do. I was trying to problematise that process a little bit and sort of complexify it and kind of open it up, showing subjectivity as something which was a little bit more sort of fractured and made up out of component parts rather than a kind of unified whole. It starts um, with a close-up of a pair of hands. One hand is being um, sort of carefully manipulated by the other. The camera is sort of very slowly moving out and as it does so it revealed that the person's Kate Blanchard. As Kate Blanchard is an actress, so much of what she does is about you know how she positions her body in space and her control over her own body and her relationship to herself in that way as, as simultaneously as an outside observer but having to be sort of inhabit her body at the same time and I think that's this kind of really interesting idea and I think that that comes across in that first section. And then there are a series of shots where um, you see the subject negotiating her position to the camera. One of the things that I was interested in doing also was to make that relationship between the, the camera or the photographer and the, and the sitter apparent. That kind of was the motivation for the obvious shifts in, in focus. So at times she moves herself you know, from being in fo focus to being sort of out of focus. So she's, she's kind of taking on the role of the camera in a way. I wanted to um, present her as an active subject uh, rather than a passive one. So that kind of negotiation of, the, um, of her relationship to the camera and to the sort of the gaze of the audience was something that I wanted to kind of bring to the fore and make kind of apparent and, and one other way that I, I want to do that um, to bring attention to the sort of the act of uh, photography or the filming or make the audience aware you know that there was a camera involved was by taking the, um, the lens off the camera while the, the piece was being filmed and then putting that um, back on again. I think for quite a long time I was hiding behind stuff. One assumes a character, so therefore it's a mask of a certain type, and I think it's taken me a long time to make that mask transparent. During this time there's also a, a voiceover. The initial interview, which went for about an hour, I used that very much to sort of develop a lot of the um, images or the, or the shots for the work. I worked with Lucy Gurin on the, on the movement and choreography um, in Melbourne. We, we worked with two actors here just listening to the initial interview and um, sitting with Lucy and Lucy had you know a number of um, had a list of things that she was trying out and um, experimented with the sort of shots during that development um, phase in Melbourne and um, David sort of sketched up the, the score. I mean I had my sort of initial concept of what I wanted to do with the, with the portrait and my approach to it but then I didn't really sort of necessarily have the end point clearly defined at the beginning. The work was very much sort of developed all the way along. I try to do nothing consciously. I think that you have to enter a state of openness. Videos for me is a really good medium to use to explore portraiture. I'm interested in exploring identity and the self and persona is something which is sort of multi, sort of faceted and, and sort of continuously shifting. So it is the, the idea of um, the self or identity sort of in flux and so that, um, working with the moving image I think is a, is a perfect medium to explore those things.